The intrepid jungle explorer, Indiana Garfield, knows no fear. Not poisonous snakes, not cat-eating plants, not... Oh, no. Huh? Odie, thank goodness. Throw me a vine. Get me out of here. Help! Pull, Odie! Pull! Playing with your food again, I see. They ought to put warning signs on oatmeal. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to When you feel like you're ready to flip When you've got the world on your shoulders Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you need them They're even there when you want For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care I can't believe we get away with this every week. Yep, can't be too careful with this cat. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> I avoided the cat. I made it. You're late. Oh, no. Oh, I'm really sorry about this. Oh, not so bad. Last week he had Quick's hand. Uh, I thought you'd like this letter from a lawyer. From a lawyer? Dear Mr. Arbuckle, so and so and so and so and so. Uh, your third cousin, twice removed, Norbert, has died. So and so, 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 so of a re reading of the will. Garfield! Cousin Norbert left me something in his will. Is it edible? Come on, we have to go pack. You know, Garfield, whenever you leave on a trip, no matter how you plan, you always have the feeling you've forgotten something. Yeah, I wonder what we forgot. Help. Somebody. Please. And to my business partner, Elmwood Crass, who robbed me blind, I leave absolutely nothing. What? He didn't leave me anything? Hey, that's the way it goes, fella. I think I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be rich. And to my distant cousin, John Arbuckle, who probably expected to be mentioned in my will, hello there, John. Well, who is getting his estate? And lastly, to John's cat, who ate me out of house and home every time they visited, I leave my most prized possession, the Klopman Diamond. This is an outrage. I was his partner and I should have that diamond. The will says the cat gets it, and the cat gets it. You wouldn't want it. Garfield, you're rich! Don't worry. I won't forget the little people. I must warn you, the Klopman Diamond has a curse on it. A curse? Get real, Legal Eagle. But I... I don't care about any curse. I want that diamond, and I'll have that diamond. I what are you going to do with the diamond, Garfield? Nothing silly, something sensible and logical. I wonder how many burritos it would buy. The Klopman diamond has been handed down from owner to owner for centuries. So many of its owners met mysterious ends that the diamond was believed to be cursed. That cursed stuff is nonsense. Let me off here, driver. That diamond is rightfully mine. I'll get it if I have to follow that cat all over the world. 
Hello, this is Garfield, your doorman. Cat, you must sell me the diamond. No. <laughs> You're bored, Odie. Want to do something? Okay, I'll give you a choice. Either we could discuss the socioeconomic status of the world, or I'll throw a ball and you fetch it. <laughs> Always a sucker for the intellectual stuff. Okay. <laughs> Bad luck. That could have happened to anybody. Ow. got to get John to read thinner books or paperbacks. But that wasn't bad luck. It was just one of those things. Nothing more will go wrong. What's going on here? No, Roger. We delivered the wet cement to Elm Avenue. That's two blocks over. Ahem. Hello. This isn't funny. Uh, just a little more work with the chisel, Garfield. I guess I ought to be grateful there aren't any pigeons in here. You must sell me the diamond! How many times do I have to tell you? No! This might be a good time to sell it. I can take a hint. I don't need a house to fall on me. <laughs> Diamond for sale, going once, going twice. Here, at my personal check. I assume you have a picture ID and two major credit cards? It's mine. At long last, the Cloughton Diamond is mine. <laughs> Just about pay for all the damages to the house. How do you like that? I inherit a fabulous diamond and wind up with nothing. Now that's bad luck. Aww. And not only that, the mail is late. I can't stand that. There's no excuse for the mail being late. I wonder what's keeping them. Now I got you, worm! Uh, Booker? Let's just say I'm a disgrace to the name of Chicken, okay? Boy, there sure is a lot of trash around the yard, man. No, there isn't. Are you disagreeing with me again? Absolutely not. Then you're agreeing with me. Absolutely not. You disagree with me all the time. I do not. There, you just disagreed with I me. I did not. Did you? Did not. Did you? Did not. Can't you two ever agree on anything? Sure no, we can. can't. Boy, there's a lot of trash around. That's what I said. No, you didn't. One of you is right. There is a lot of trash around. Now let's organize a cleanup crew. We sometimes agree. Name one time. Okay, so like we never agree. Oh, that's what you say. So I think we all ought to clean up the farm. All in favor, say aye. 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 Nay, I think it's a good idea. But habits are hard to break. Okay, let's get rid of everything filthy on the farm.
I'm checking the viscosity. You see, correct water to mud ratio is very important in a waller. Wow, but that was a lot of work, man. No, it wasn't. Well, thanks for a great job, everybody. Now I'm going to relax. After a hard day's work, there's just one place I want to be. <laughs> Everything on the farm looks great! Almost everything. All in favor of ridding this farm of an unsightly mud hole, say I. I. Nay. But just because he said I. I, of course. Where is this unsightly mud hole? No. No, you can't mean my waller. No. This isn't an unsightly mud hole. Well, it is, but this is my unsightly mud hole. You can't dig out my waller. But Orson, you did say get rid of everything filthy here. And what is filthier than a mud hole? But I cleaned it up. Oh, yeah, you cleaned it up, but it's still a mud hole. I, I need a place to stay cool. Pigs don't sweat, you know. Ha! Tell that to my nose. It's, it's stylish. I filled it with all new designer mud. Mud is mud, Orson. Yeah, why is a mud hole so important to you? Guys, this isn't just mud. Everybody needs a place to go. A quiet, private place that no one knows. We all need somewhere we like to be. My waller's my place, that's just for me. Everybody needs a place to hide where you can sort out the feelings you have inside. Where you can dream and think a while. Maybe turn a frown into a smile. That's why I love my Waller. I can wish, pretend, or be wiser, or maybe just taller, in my place that's special to me. It might be your room, or up in a tree, a walk in the park, or down by the sea. But if your place is hard to find, just make up a place inside your mind. Well, if you guys think all it is is mud, go ahead and drain it. Wow. Like, I can't do it, man. Yeah. I agree with Bo. You do? Yeah. We all agree. Don't we? Aye! Okay! Meow. What? Meow. What? 
Meow. You win. Okay, this is our buckle's place. Hey, you think you can get him to buy a policy? Oh, you should have seen this guy when I met him in the park. He is nuts about me. He's going to buy so much insurance, you and I will be able to retire. Pick me up in an hour. Will do. Hey, try not to break his heart too much, eh? <laughs> She'll be here any minute. The most beautiful girl in the world. I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm so bored. Boy, am I bored. Bored, bored, bored. I wish that roofer I called would get here. Garfield, I'm expecting company. Please don't annoy her too much. She's here. She's here! I am incredibly bored, Odie. I'm more bored than I thought. That sounds like fun. Diana, I am so happy to <clears throat> see you. Come in. Why, thank you, John. Diana, when I look at you, I am struck by the pangs of romance. <laughs> That's not the pangs of romance, John. That's a baseball. <laughs> Excuse me just one second, Diana. Where's the ball, Odie? Stupid creatures love to fetch a ball. <clears throat> You're annoying us, Garfield. Like I said... Me? Annoy someone? John Arbuckle, surely you jest. Gee, it's dark in here. Like being inside a deep, dank cavern, miles under the surface of the earth. This cave leads to the mad scientist's castle, Odie. Huh? And look what you found. Do you know what this is, Odie? <laughs> No, it's not a ball. It's the Klopman Diamond, a priceless gem, as well as a pointless running gag on a popular Saturday morning cartoon series. But we must beware. The dreaded three-headed Klopmanosaurus lurks in these caverns to guard the diamond. But it won't find us. We're safe. A dragon, Odie. A three-headed fire-breathing dragon. Fear not. I will put the fire out. Please forgive the leaks. I'm waiting for my roofer. Uh, can I get you some hot cocoa, Diana? Oh, I hate hot cocoa. Well, that's my favorite cold weather drink. Mm, just bring me some water. Water coming up. <clears throat> you have a nice home, John. Do you have enough insurance? Take that, fire-breathing dragon. Here I come, to Garfield! Oh, look what your cat has done! The water has transformed the dragon back into a princess! Garfield, that was a rotten thing to do! With some gratitude. See if I save him from another dragon. We found the mad scientist's castle, Odie. We have to stop him from bringing the monster to life. Huh? Just put it in the dryer for a few minutes. I'm, I'm really sorry about this, Diana. You know, John, with that cat, you really need insurance. Be careful. They'll probably want to put your brain into the monster. Mom? Yeah, they'll want one that's never been used. Quick, Odie, hide. That's the mad scientist's assistant, Igor. Mad scientist assistants are always named Igor. It's like a law. The monster must be in here. There's the monster. It's, it's, it's the bride of Arbuckle. The monster is rising from the lab table. Odie, quick, we have to stop it. Take that, you monster, and that. 
Diana, what's wrong? Help me! Help! The monster's fleeing, Odie. <gasps> Garfield, you've done it this time. You, you. Insurance application, Diana. Why did you bring this? Oh, well. You just want to sell me insurance? The nerve of you trying to take advantage of John's good nature. That's my job. <sighs> I don't care if I don't sell you a policy. I'm getting out of here. How do you like that? She didn't really like me. <sighs> That's my luck. I'm never going to meet a lady who likes me for myself. Excuse me, are you John Arbuckle? I'm the roofer. Hmm. Come in. Sorry I'm late, but I've had a lot of leaks to patch. Say, are you the John Arbuckle who draws those cartoons? Uh, yes. You've seen my cartoons? Oh, sure. They're real funny. You must have a great sense of humor to come up with those. Well, I, <clears throat> I try. Can I offer you something? Sure. Do you have any hot cocoa? I love hot cocoa. Well, I think we have some. Come on, Odie. I don't think the roof's gonna get fixed for a while. So, as the waters rise, the intrepid cat and the barely adequate dog sail off. Oh wait, I forgot the main necessity of life. There. Now, the monster vanquished, our hero sails slowly into the sunset.